Hey rock stars, my name is Crystal Waller and I'm going to show you how to play Fast Car by Tracy Chapman. If you like my videos, please like and comment and subscribe. If you want to see extra content that I don't put on YouTube, please join my Lady Rock Stars plugged in online class for women. It's only for women and non-binary folks. All right, so the first thing I want to point out is this song's basically four chords the whole time. Um, now when you listen to it, you hear her do the finger picking. But I want to show you how to play it with open chords too. Okay, so that way if you're just getting started and you're not ready for finger picking yet, you could try out the open chord way too. Um, so first thing we're starting with our capo on the second fret. If you don't have a capo, you can play it just regular. It's just not going to match the key of the CD. The CD. How is, am I giving away my age here? Jesus. Okay, uh, so you're going to start with a C chord. Pointer finger on the first fret of the B string, middle finger on the second fret of the D string, and your ring finger is going to be on the third fret of the A string, and it looks like that. Make sure you're on the your tips of your fingers so you're not hitting the strings around it, and you're strumming the bottom five. All right, if you're playing the whole chord, okay. And then um, your next chord is a G chord. Your middle finger is on the third fret of the E string. Pointer finger is on the second fret of the A string, and your ring and pinky finger can or cannot. It's okay if they're not is on the third fret of the E and B strings. You strum all of those. An E minor chord is your next chord, and that's the pointer finger and the middle finger on the second fret of the A and D string. Again, make sure you're arched on your fingertips so you're not muting strings around it, and you strum all of it. Now you can play it with your middle and ring finger too, either way. And then your pointer finger is gonna be on the second fret of the G string, the second fret of the little E string, and the third fret of the B string for a D chord, and you strum the bottom four. So those are your main chords if you're playing this with open chords, all right? So the first part is C, all right? But we're gonna do a C major seven to a C, which is just lifting up your pointer finger. So you start with the C major seven with your pointer finger lift up, lift up, <laughs> lift it up, Jesus. And and then you hammer on, which means you just slam your finger on this, the first fret of the B string. And then you lift it up again and strum. So it sounds like. All right, then you go to your G chord. I'm just going down, 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 down to E minor down, down, D, down, 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 down. So slow, it's C thing. All right, so that's the way you play it if you're just doing open chords. Now, if you wanna do the finger picking thing, which try it, don't let it intimidate you. Um, you're gonna put your thumb on the A string, your pointer finger on the G string, and your ring finger is gonna lay on the B string, okay? So, you're doing the same thing we just did with the chord, where you're, you're starting with a C major seven with your pointer finger up, but and you're plucking all of these at once, these three strings, okay? and you're hammering on to the first fret. Shit, yeah. And then I just pluck once with my middle finger on the B string. So, it's hard to do it slow and get you to hear it. I'm gonna do it up here. There we go. All right, and then this is what my fingers look like. Okay, so that's the first part. And start slow, don't play it fast. If you start to play stuff fast, wrong, it's harder for you to unlearn it and then do it right. So start slow. Okay, then go to G. Um, but the G is gonna just be two fingers. So it's gonna be your pointer finger on the third fret of the E string and your middle finger on the third fret of the B string. And you just strum the two strings you're holding down, E string and B string. 
So lift your fingers up, find it again. Shit. All right. And then you're, well, let's do that little bit together. So one, two, ready, go. I fucked it up. There you go. Okay. Next is what we went to was an E minor chord, but we're going to take it up top. And we're gonna go to our pointer finger on the, what, what is that, nine and of the A string and the eight of the B string. All right, so just this cute little thing here. You just poke them at the same time. And then you're gonna go down to the seventh fret of the A string and your ring finger's going to the ninth fret of the B string. Okay, so this is the, where you're going to be at seven and eight or sorry that's nine and ten then seven and nine okay so let's review let's do the beginning all right it's That's the whole riff. Though what we can do to add some extra stuff um, is on the, the nine and the 10 one, you go. You pluck that open G string after you pluck the two together. So I'm using my pointer finger. And then I, whenever I go to the next one, the, the seven and the nine one, I'm going pluck both A and B, and then I do with my pointer finger, the G string open, middle finger plucks the B string, then back to the G string open again. So you got two little extra, or three little extra notes on the end of that one. Let's do it again. Shit. All right. So that's the main little riffy licky thing. Then you got the chorus, which we're going back to open chords, just like we were at the beginning when I was showing you all the things. Okay. So you start with a C chord. And you go C, then you go to G. You're on this for each for like four counts. So C to G, E minor, D. Okay. And then I was driving, driving in my car. G, D, 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 minor, D, 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 You go to D again. C E minor to D. Uh, then she's like, B someone, B someone, on B someone, B someone, C D. Okay. To review, we start with C to G E minor D C. Don't strum a lot on the C and the D like I just did. Okay, and I'm just going down, down, up, up, down, up. Um, C, G, E minor coming up, E minor to D now, D, C, E minor, D, C, E minor, C, D. Okay, so the last time around, um, you just gotta go straight to C and D. And I guess it depends on which chorus you're listening to. I think it's longer, 
maybe on the second time. I can't remember, honestly. Okay, listen to the track and you'll get it. All right, so that's the whole song. You did it. All right, play it with me now from the top. Let's do the picky part, okay? One, two, ready, go. Last time. Shit. Chorus. G. E minor. D. C. E minor. D. C. E minor. C. D. Thank you for sticking with it. Let me know how you did um, in the comments. I want to I wanna hear if you are catching what I'm throwing. All right. See you in the next video. Bye.